Hello everybody, it's Renee again, Country Gal 2217 from Big TV and Sweet Pea 3319 on Twitter. I will be reviewing three more Illusion juices tonight. Watermelon Jubilance, Strawberry Vanilla Cake, and Strawberry Banana Mint. They were all 20, 24 milligrams, 27, I was just not thinking tonight. Okay, 24 milligrams and... I will be vaping them on my 5 volt triple B mod with the drip shield. Um, they are 70 30 VGPG. And once again, I got to point out the clear label. It's amazing. His site, you can find it to the bottom. It's www.illusion.us. And amazing juice, I'm telling you. I haven't found one I don't like yet. Um, well, anyway, here we go. Going to start out with the watermelon jubilance. I'm not completely sure I'm saying that right. Actually, it almost smells like a minty watermelon. It doesn't smell like the watermelon candy. It smells like actual watermelon. Um, that is so amazing. He makes his own concentrates. And they're all made in the United States. And Michigan is where he's at. And yeah. It smells like real watermelon. So none of that fake super sweet stuff. It, it, it smells very authentic. It tastes very authentic. Um, not getting any of the mint. Um, I guess it was just my nose that's messed up. I'm kind of stopped up, so my nose is quite weird today. But um, it tastes like you cut a slice of watermelon, pour some salt on it, and just shove it in your face and eat it. That's what it tastes like. Amazing vapor production. The throat hit is there. It's not a very strong throat hit at all. At all. Um, kind of tingles on my throat actually, more than just hits it. So, yeah. It's leaving my throat a little bit raw, but I have, I'm i using a debridged Addy, so the juice is a little bit warm, and I think that's what it is. My couch ate my favorite drip tip last night, and I can't get it back for the life of me. So I had to borrow one of Shiny's. It's not quite as long as a drip tip I was using, so the juice is a little bit warmer. So I think that's what's messing with my throat. I don't think it's the juice, because it is. I've never had any kind of problems out of juice burning my throat or anything. I think it's. I think it's just I'm missing my favorite drip tip. Whoosh. Yeah, covers the entire screen with juice. That's how it's done. Okay. Anyway, on to the next one. Next, I will be reviewing the strawberry vanilla cake. And... I've been vaping this a little bit already today. See, it's, it's not quite full. It smells like 
vanilla cake with strawberry frosting. And I know you say, well, how do you know it's not strawberry cake with vanilla frosting? I say that because the strawberry part of it smells a bit sweeter than the vanilla. Maybe I'm just crazy. Who knows? We're about to find out. People are outside acting crazy. Okay. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Yeah, it's definitely a vanilla cake with strawberry frosting. The strawberry isn't quite as strong as I would hope it would be. I've let it I let it steep for about six hours. I'm probably gonna do another six hours on it. Um, when I first got it, it, the strawberry was almost non-existent. So the strawberry's starting to pull through. Maybe another six hours, and they'll be where it where I want it to be. Um, it is a little bit on the sweeter side. It's not too sweet though. It's um. The sweetness I would rate like a cake without the frosting sweet. Um, it's sweet, but it's, it, like I said, it's not too sweet. It is actually a very good base for like after supper when you're on a diet and you want a dessert, but you know you can't have the calories. You can bake this, not have to worry about the calories, get all the taste, and your nicotine at the same time. So, it's just amazing. Yeah. Has a little bit of a flowery aftertaste. It's not too it's not too noticeable. You have to sit there and think like, what is that? Um, it doesn't I don't mind that too much, but some people might. It's a little flowery. I don't know what's making it do that, though. It's, I don't know. Shiny said it smells flowery. So, that's something to think about. On to the strawberry banana mint. I forgot to smell it. I do this every video so far. You definitely smell the banana. Don't much smell strawberry or mint. It's just, it smells like banana. Straight up banana. And the banana is the first thing you notice. Um. On the inhale, you get a little more strawberry than banana. Still, the strawberry is not quite as strong as I would like it to be. I'll probably let it steep for about six hours to see if the strawberry comes out. Hopefully, it won't make the banana come out, too. Um, the mint is just that. It tastes, it tastes a little bit of mint. It doesn't taste like menthol. It's just mint, period. Mint. Um... Vapor production is coming out fine. Um, no throat hit that I can tell of whatsoever. Um, could be the mint in it. The mint flavors and menthol tend to be a lot smoother and nicer to my throat. Um, I don't know why that is. It just when I smoked, I smoked menthol, and I don't normally vape anything that's not mint or menthol. Still getting a little bit of a flowery after 
taste. It's um probably the strawberry a little bit. I don't know. I'm not too sure about it though. Uh, about the flowery aftertaste. Um, I'm a little stopped up today, so it it could just be me being stopped up. I don't know. But um, yeah, there's my reviews, and they're all 24 milligram. Nick, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I have bad memory today. <laughs> I've been up since six o'clock, so there you go. But, um, yeah, there we go. I can stop saying that now. That's the end. Love y'all. Keep on vaping and take care.